the whole way that I'm going to be doing this project is I'm only going to be using two things, a web browser and a terminal window. So this terminal window, if you have Windows, you would use something like Zoth. Um, I don't know what you would use if you were using a Mac. But basically anything, or, or Putty I think probably has a version for Mac, but basically as long as you have any kind of terminal software that you can use to remotely administer a Linux machine, you'll be fine. So it doesn't matter what operating system you're using. And in this case, like I said, I'm just going to be using a web browser and a terminal window. Okay, great. So first of all, let me go ahead and tell you what the project is. There are a lot of websites out there which basically allow people who are doing freelancing to, to go there and look for companies or people who are trying to hire freelancers to build projects for them where someone basically posts a project and says this is what I'm trying to build and then they get all sorts of replies, thousands of emails from everybody who says oh yeah I can do that. And what I want to do is build something that's more or less the reverse of that where someone who is looking to get a project done can go to a website where they can actually browse through the profiles of the people who can build it people not firms so specific individuals who are web developers or graphic designers or whatever it is that they they are and the person who is looking to hire can go through the profiles and choose who they want to work on their project rather than being the recipient of all sorts of messages from people saying oh yeah I can do this so that's the idea now a couple months ago I had this idea and I thought it'd be really great considering what I'm doing here as far as teaching programming because in some sense a lot of the people who are going through my classes are themselves going to become freelancers and it's nice to also be working on a resource that'll be beneficial to them so that's that's the idea of the project now when I had the idea I thought to myself you know I could go in and build this this would be fun to do but something that has never to the best of my knowledge been done before is to actually live stream the entire process of building a valuable internet property. Everything from writing the code to getting traffic to making deals, whatever goes into building a business. Now the catch on my side is that to be able to do this in a way that doesn't really create, I guess, a, a moral conflict of interest I'm going to make it so that whatever revenue is generated from this project, and it will generate revenue, will go to the purpose of the whole learn programming set of projects that I'm doing, just to, to kind of call it a, a group, uh, put it under a group name. It'll go toward computer science for everyone, so it'll uh, maybe at some point go toward making the site better or whatever it does, but the bottom line is that whatever revenue this generates, is going to go toward that project. I wouldn't feel right doing something like this and using it to enrich my own pockets. It's not really something I'd be comfortable with. So there you go. But having said that, I will be showing you the entire process of how you could go take an idea that you have and turn it into reality. So that's, that's hopefully the goal here. Um, also though, I, I am going to be working on this in a professional capacity where I know a lot of what commands to type and where to get what I'm looking for already and a lot of it you'll be looking at me doing this and you'll be thinking okay wow this is way over my head I don't understand this and that's okay don't worry about it that's why we're doing this in in small segments each session is going to be 45 minutes of me actually working and 15 minutes of answering questions so a lot of what you see might seem advanced but remember that I will answer questions afterward and over time you'll you'll be able to learn through osmosis just by watching me do it.